presented as a bill to curb gun violence in Kentucky could have other effects for homelessness around the state. The Safer Kentucky Act would essentially outlaw sleeping in public or private spaces, including under interstate overpasses or under bridges. The act is better known for what it would do to stop violent crime, though. It calls for heightened penalties for violent crimes like murder and carjackings. It has a three strikes rule for people convicted of a violent felony for the third time, and they could get a life sentence without parole. It would also charge drug dealers with murder if they sell fentanyl to somebody who dies from taking fentanyl. WHS 11's Alexis Jones and photojournalist Emma Gefter found out how the bill would impact other areas of Kentucky. Since 2022, camping in public spaces has been illegal here in Louisville. Now lawmakers are trying to crack down on houselessness statewide with the help of the Safer Kentucky Act. They, they want to clean the streets up, you know what I mean? but they're going about it the wrong way. They're, they're seeing a mess on the street. They're not seeing the struggle. A painful reality Joseph Halbert has endured for the last six years. Halbert says he's made his way around Jefferson County, living in tents for survival. Kept me out of the elements, you know, kept my stuff dry, so I had somewhere to, to eat food, you know. But now the street camping he and many others depended on is under attack this legislative session. Republican lawmakers plan to sponsor a proposal that would ban street camping throughout the Commonwealth. It's a part of a wide-ranging bill called the Safer Kentucky Act. Representative Jason Nemes of Louisville supports the bill. He says it aims to improve public safety. Is it's trying to identify violent criminals, make it easier to identify them, easier to catch them, and, and we're putting them in jail longer. The particular portions of the Safer Kentucky Act just say you're not allowed to just camp anywhere you want to in front of someone's home or property. According to the proposal, people would be guilty of unlawful camping if they enter or remain on a public or private space with the intention of sleeping there, even if they're resting inside their cars. The first time a person refuses to leave, they will be charged with a Class B misdemeanor, which can lead to fines or jail time. To make more criminals out of where there's not a criminal, that's, that's not going to solve anything. You're just putting a little more court costs and a few more fines on them. That's all it's doing. However, Representative Nemes says otherwise. It's not criminalizing homelessness. It's trying to say, let's, let's put together a process um, to help these folks. Nemes says the bill calls on local governments to create an area where people can camp and receive resources. But the bill doesn't lay out how officials will get the funding for outdoor spaces. It also plans to block funding for Housing First initiatives that provides permanent housing without behavioral or rehabilitative requirements, which Haber says will only make matters worse. If you cut it, you're snowballing the problem again. There's an epidemic going on. You're not, you're not going to cure it by hardening your heart. In Louisville, Alexis Jones, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, this legislation does come at a time when the city of Louisville is already ramping up the clearing of homeless camps across Metro Louisville. According to records obtained by WHS 11 News, Louisville has uh, cleared out more than 100 camps since July of 2022. These areas you see on your screen are scheduled to undergo clear outs every Wednesday. And the number went up significantly once Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg took office. These camps, mostly in the downtown and Nulu areas of the city, were cleaned out 38 times last year. Under Mayor Greg Fisher, there were no Wednesday scheduled cleanings until October, and they only did eight the rest of the year under the Fisher administration.